Hey, 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 what is up you guys? What is happening? Happy Friday. Hope you had a fantastic week so far. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Okay, so, 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 so. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about what to do if you have an unsupportive spouse um, in business. All right, so let uh, me get somebody on this live. All Hello. right, all right. Hey, Irina, how are you doing? You all right? Very good, very good. We just arrived in Telford and get ready for tomorrow's conference. Terrific, terrific. So thank you very much for joining in, Irina. Now, there's a reason why I got Irina, because this particular topic, you know, what to do if you have a spouse that does not support you. Uh, Irina has some personal experience on that, so she'll be able to share her story a little bit with us uh, today as well. Hi, Indra. Hi, Emma. Guys, if you're watching a replay of this, please do us a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. So this way that uh, we know who watched this live and who watched the recording. Hey, Marina. Thanks for joining in. Okay, so actually, without the further ado, I'm going to go ahead and ask Irina to tell her story. What experience does she have with uh, maybe having a spouse that doesn't support you in the business? And, and uh, how did she maybe overcome that? Thank you, Gedimina. It's actually really very, um, how to say, uh, important. But you know the saying, what doesn't kill us that makes us stronger, yeah? Absolutely. So my husband is bounty hunter. When I married him, uh, from beginning, he does not understood uh, how I'm a love work at all. And then uh, it was for me very difficult. But if you got desire, you, you really want to succeed. You really have no, like, uh, like you burn all bridges, you have no way to go back, yeah? Absolutely. Means if you do it, means everything would be possible. So my story, when I moved to UK, I could not speak English. I didn't know people at all. I started to talk to everybody and inviting them to uh, home. Uh, please come for coffee, for tea. It's like a few words uh, in English. But you know, English people are very polite. They're very nice, kind. Uh, good luck, good luck to you, uh, tapping to my shoulder, but nobody even pay attention to me. So I knew somewhere in London, because we live in Luton, there is like uh, some Ukrainian uh, or Russian speaking from UK. Because I'm Ukrainian and also I can speak uh, Russian fluently, not like English, yeah? So now, I hope you understand me, but that is after 12 years. So can you imagine what level of English uh, I was speaking uh, 12 years ago. It's difficult to even imagine, yeah? <laughs> so, uh, then, uh, first month, my income was 33 pounds. Second month, it was about uh, 45. So, uh, my husband, being English, English, told me, do business, do. Bermuda English. <laughs> I said, do, do uh, on your uh, own money. So if I had no money, what I could do, yeah? So I told him, I remember like now, he was even was telling me, I will let you go. You know what it means? <laughs> Fly away, yeah? <laughs> but, but, uh, once I told him, if you could do business with me, we could earn very, very big money and we succeed very quickly. If you could not do business, but at least support me, still we're going to be very well off. But if you're not going to do business and not support me, I, my darling, I'm going to work. I'm going to work even harder. I just don't know how we're going to live together. <laughs> For today, my husband is my biggest supporter. Actually, by the way, let me introduce to him. If you don't know him yet, and here is my... <laughs> Hi, 
Bye. Hey, Ted. So tell me, tell our audience how it was in the beginning and uh, how you change it, your mind. Well, at the beginning, when I first saw this company being a Polish company, I just said, you are never, ever going to earn any money from a Polish company. And I've got a light on my head there. So. <laughs> I look like, I look like a, Me too, don't worry. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I mean, I said you will never, you will never uh, earn any money from this company. And um, she said, no, 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 it's an MLM company. I didn't even know what MLM was. I never heard of it in my life. And um, the only thing I thought it was a, was a pyramid company. I said, you're never going to earn any money. You only lose money out of this company. Don't, don't do it. But she said, no, I'm going to do it. She started going to London and she was earning rubbish money. And I was paying like 17, 18 pound a day for tickets. She was paying seven, seven days a week and earning <laughs> at the end of the month 30, 38 or 40 pound. And I, I could not see it, but she did, the money did pick up, I'll be quite honest. And then a Mercedes was coming and she said, I've got a Mercedes coming. And I said, you know, we'll sign this agreement and the Mercedes, the company will go bust and we'll end up with the Mercedes being taken away. And... <laughs> You know, will it end up in debt? But obviously, it didn't. And she got a second Mercedes, and she got a third, and then she hit Jasper Star fifty thousand a month. And I had to get on my knees, and I said, "Sorry about <laughs> saying about this company. I was wrong. You were right. I didn't know what I was talking about. And I'm glad you didn't listen to me. Fantastic. And now she's doing well. And today, uh, we came to our conference, <laughs> and first time, Ted brought his friends. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I will show you that lovely couple. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Jeff. Hello. Hello there. Hi, yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so now for first conference, my husband got some of his friends as a distributor. Fantastic. With all in its order, and we are very excited. So moral of the story is, uh, because my husband very uh, good trained, he's like a sniper and uh, in karate, black belt, seven done, means you know how to train people. Means he trained me so well. <laughs> so if you still guys not succeed or not reach such a result like me so far yet, look around for better trainers. Absolutely. Means maybe if your family not supporting or spouse or a family or a friends, that is the best way how to check how uh, deeply you believe in this business. Another question you could uh, find out how good your friends are. Are they supporting you or not? But most important, how one lady once told me. Do you think if everything would be uh, brought for you on like um, on plate, would you become such person as you are here? And you know, guys, I really become very, very strong because I want it. It means if you really want to succeed, people, when you succeed, your uh, family will support you. It depends. Would you like to stay like... Uh, like uh, like poor relative, I could say, yeah? Or uh, you really want to go fast and uh, do good business. So everything is possible. If now, this year, I'm going, I already 61, and I still, English not very good, on computer still not good. A lot of, uh, a lot of things I'm doing wrong. A lot of things I'm doing wrong, but I still earn money. Means, guys, if you, the same age, or doesn't matter what nationality, it's perfume smell for all nationalities. So you just need to find people the way how to present them. Give them as a best present. So now, because I knew I'm going to succeed, that <laughs> level I reached. And I'm not going to stop on that level. <laughs> I'm going to reach higher. 
Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, Irina, for joining in today. Uh, I know how busy you are. I know you're just literally in the middle of something. But thanks very much for spending some time. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Awesome. So this was Irina Oliver, right? So this lady is a six figure earner a year, right? In network marketing. So somebody who uh, makes the money, who knows how this business works, who knows what she's doing. So a few lessons um, in case you haven't picked it up from uh, Irina, uh, at, you know, so far. One, if your spouse is not supporting you right now, it's probably because you're not achieving any results. So start achieving results, start making money in business. And guess what? Your spouse will turn around. They will start supporting you. They'll be the biggest cheerleader for you. They'll go to every single conference, to every single trip that you win, etc. So get results. Don't be complaining that, oh, my spouse doesn't believe in me. Oh, my spouse is not supporting me. And you actually been in business for how many years and you're not doing anything, right? Because very often the reason why your spouse is not supporting you is because they're tired of seeing you do nothing. They're tired of you promising great things and not doing anything. They're tired of you just spinning your wheels and not actually going out there and crushing in this business. So like what you could have picked up from Irina's story, once Irina started succeeding, guess what? Her husband turned around and now supports her, etc. And you'll see the same thing will happen for you if you do it. Number two, you have to have that passion and belief that no matter what, even if you are criticized at the beginning, if you are not supported at the beginning, you just need to do it. It cannot stop you because if somebody criticizing you, even as close person as your spouse will stop you, then it will never work out. You will never prove to them that this business works. They'll never turn around and will never uh, be able to support you again. You know, so this is really, really, again, important. You know, you have to understand that it cannot stop you. The fact that somebody doesn't support you cannot stop you because if you believe in your business, if you believe in your product, if you believe in your vision, you have to keep crushing it. You have to keep going forward, right? Super, super, super important. Anything else? What else did you pick up from Irina's story? Write in the comments for me. What did you pick up from Irina's story, right? And, you know, it's, it's so, so, so important, you know, because so many people want to become successful in network marketing. Um, they want to crush it and they want their spouse to support, but they're not doing anything. They're not bringing new people in the business. They're not looking for new customers. They're not making any money and they're spending money every single month. And for the spouse, it's looking that, hey, we're losing money here every single month, right? We're not making any money. So why would you keep doing this business, right? But the only reason for that is because like Arena said, uh, you know, they haven't achieved the results yet, right? They haven't really showed up to the business. They haven't really taken the ownership and said, you know what, no matter what, I'm going to go ahead and crush it. That's the only solution. There is no motivational speech that you should say to your spouse, or there is no motivational video that you show to your spouse and it's going to turn them around. And from now on, they're going to start supporting you. The only way you're going to inspire them to support you is by showing results, is by doing the best you can in order to start making money in the business. Once you start making money in the business, the spouse will definitely support you and they will start introducing other people into the business and they will be the biggest cheerleader for you, right? But you have to do that. You have to focus and go and show results. And for anybody else, you know, so if we're not talking for about spouse for a moment, if you have friends who are not supporting you, if you have family members who are not supporting you, if you have uh, work colleagues who are not supporting you, the best way to sh convince them otherwise is to show results. Once you start crushing it, once you start succeeding, guess what? They will pay attention. They will want to join your team. They will want to become part of your business because they'll see that no matter what, you went on and showed success. You went on and proved them wrong, right? So the only way to change people's minds is through results is through results, right? That's the only way you can succeed in network marketing and have people cheerleading, cheerleading supporting you, uh, you know, doing everything that you want them to do, right? Hope this is making sense, guys. Hope you got some value from this training today. If you did get some value, feel free to share it with your team members, with other people who maybe have a spouse who's not supporting them uh, and they're struggling in network marketing. Share that video for them. Show them, you know, this person was making 33 pounds in her first month, but now she's making six figures a year, you know, and she had a husband who was not supporting her at the beginning. Now, of course, is her biggest fan and the biggest supporter, right? So learn from that lesson. And also, if you're in network marketing and you'd like to get my free training on 26, 
six different ways how to find more customers and get more sales, then get, head over to titaniumsuccess.co.uk slash sales. That's titaniumsuccess.co.uk slash sales. And you'll be able to download your free MP3 download uh, with my training on 26 ways how to find customers and sell more products. Thanks very much for joining in tonight, guys. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend and we'll see you at the top.